It's the time for the package from China. Let's go. Guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome. Dutch you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look at the Mega Drive version 3. I recently picked it up from AliExpress and I was curious. This is going to be like the next generation of affordable EverDrives you can pick up. Yeah, for the people who are not familiar with EverDrives, basically what you can do is having an SD card, putting your files on it, slap it in here and we can play our games. But what I do like about these options, besides the point you can do a lot of great things with it, you can play a lot of homebrew games very easily this way. But the, the question remains, is this thing actually worth your money? I owe myself an EverDrive, the original one back in the day, and it was a very awesome piece of technology. They are like very hard to find at this moment, but also like they are very good quality. But how is this bad boy? The form factor is just a cartridge, so you can use it in the every single mega drive you can find. The only thing I noticed in the past that they're like really hard to get out, but they fixed this issue because it plays and it works like an original in cartridge. But the question remains, how good is this thing? It's affordable, that is true, but is it also fast? Because I have seen with previous cartridges that we do have some issues when it comes to loading times, they are significant slower. But well, let's take a close look at the other ones I've reviewed. So this is an original one, don't mind the label, it's quite hideous. I got it with a Mega Drive back in the day. And here you can see already it still uses DSD, but this is like a really old version. It's the Mega EverDrive and it's also a very fast one. This is the Mega EverDrive, the one from AliExpress. And here you can see it still uses the normal SD. And the thing I'm noticing with these devices is like the loading times are significant longer simply because they need to rewrite the game every single time. And this was like a brandless, and cheap to the cheap one that was like dirty cheap but this thing was like the slowest of all and yeah but to be honest it's fun if you just want to play a couple of games but if you want to use it a very long time it's going to be quite annoying but let's take a close look at this mega drive version 3 i'm going to put it in i just want to see how fast the loading times are and what other functionalities and how will the menu look is it the same stuff like all the other ones with a new kind of pcb and the same kind of software or is it actually something new and exciting Okay, so when booting it up, everything has been preset. And I mean with this, the firmware itself has been set up. The only thing you need to do is make yourself some folders, add your files, and you're ready to go. So that is something that I think is really convenient. And it seems to me this device do have the option for saving. And I mean with saving is like internal games. And nevertheless, so let's see how fast it will load up the games. Okay, so the thing is that we're still having the old school tech. And I mean, as you can see, like it takes quite a long time that it basically erases the old file and when it's done it can finally like read the file and write it into the chip itself so when it comes to the technology itself there's nothing really changed here and in my opinion it's a little bit of a bummer they're still using this old school tech where everdrive have almost instantly loading Okay, so what I really like about Everdrive, you can load up like customized games like the Return of Fighters 3 of Rage 2. Here you can see like they added some new additional characters. So pretty damn awesome if you ask me. Of course you can find these games on a separate cartridge, but they are very hard to find and most of the time in really low quality. Oh by the way, everything sounds really shitty slow because I'm playing on the PAL system. Okay, so what you also can do is pressing the C button on the controller. Then we're going to get the options. Then we have here the game region, the mega key, the SRAM backup, and we can reset to the game. You can turn it on and off. Then we're going to get the cheat option and device info. And when you're looking at all of this, it's nothing really fancy. They say this is the new version, and maybe it is, but you can see over there. But when you're looking at the features, it's quite limited, especially when it comes to the loading times. But you know, when you're going to look at the Sega CD, then we're going to get even more awesome features because with an everdrive built in we can even do some more awesome stuff okay so if you want to use an everdrive with a mega cd we're going to do some awesome things we already mentioned so when you're turning on the system itself the mega cd will boot up okay so this feature doesn't of course work when you're implementing the mega drive or the everdrive in here so when you plug this thing in it will boot up into the everdrive but what is really cool I will show you here. So what is a really cool feature with this, if you load up a different BIOS, 
into the EverDrive, you can basically like unlocking a mega CD for a Japanese or a US region. But when you take a close look at the menu itself, we can load up different kind of BIOSes. And I think that is something of a really cool feature. So if you want to play different regions, you don't need to do any modification whatsoever. I tried it in the past a couple of times. So let's say you want to play the Japanese games, go to boot it up, load and start. It would load up the BIOS. It shows it like an original system. There's only one small problem. Normally we need to press the reset button to get the disk tray open. That doesn't work because when you're pressing the reset it will go back to the main menu. So what you need to do is press start, open it up here, and here you can see you can enter your game, close it, and it basically like play your games if you want to. It's not the best way, but it is an option, and I think it's a really cool feature. An awesome, great feature what we can do is using it with the Sega 2D2X. You know, like, a lot of games are freaking awesome, but there are like some games that have never been released. And you can basically use it with an EverDrive and load up the games like this. But the only downside to, um, let's say, a slower cartridge, it's going to take forever. Like, you know, erasing a file takes some time. I've shown you before. But reading a file or writing it to the chip, yep, that's going to be taking forever now. Because the 2D2X files are way bigger than a normal and Mega Drive game. So when you want to play some games on the 2 to 2 weeks, this is a great way to go to. And another thing is, like, I really like it. You can just play these games and also have the option to play some better games. Because there are a lot of games that didn't be even finished up or they improved it by the community. And now you can play them fairly easy. Some games are freaking awesome to play on the 32 wix if you ask me. And yep, 32 wix was a weird piece of technology they released at a very strange time. But it still had a lot of great games. Okay, so let's take a close look at both of the cartridges. So first of all, we're going to get yourself like a cheap black cartridge shell. And with the new model, we're going to get this very nice, let's say qu better quality translucent edition. So while we're looking at the chips and everything on the PCB, you can see like there is a significant differences with the new model over here. So the first thing that you're going to get is just this basic green PCB. And it comes with the Altera Max 2. But also the new version over here will use the same chip over there. And there are some similarities here and there. But when you're looking at the new model, you can see like there is significant upgrades. This thing comes with more chips. I'm just going to be honest, like I don't know all of them. It comes with a small lithium battery inside. So this thing has way more features. Oh, and of course the SD function over here. So it's quite interesting to see like this thing has been released in 2020 over here. And yeah, it is not like the latest edition. So that's always why it's a little bit of a problem you're picking up something from AliExpress to say like the brand new latest edition, but it seems to be this thing is already two years old. So yeah, that's what we're going to get with the inside. But it would be cool to check out the comparison with a cheap card from AliExpress and just to see with an original one. I do own an original one, but the problem is like these were like very old versions of the EverDrive. And I want to see for myself what the new version look like. But in the end, like when you're looking at the quality wise, yeah, there are a lot of things you can say about it. But when you're looking at the original new edition of the EverDrive, these are super fast and we're still having the loading times with the old bad boys. But in the end, this is what we're going to get when it comes to the performance and the quality. It seems to be they're improving the quality when it comes to the PCB and the futures. Still having loading times where we're having like with some of the EverDrives that we have like instant loading. But yeah, everything comes with a price and that also includes with these devices. Let me know in the comments what you think of this. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. Hit that little bell. Become one of the Wicked family. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.